everybody, No Drama Makeup Mama here. I am doing a new series starting today. I'm going to do, um, I don't know how many parts, I guess however many colors there are. But this is part one of my new monochromatic series, series, series. So I started, I figured, I figured I would start with a color that I am not friends with. Like me and yellow are not friends. Like it's not a color I can wear looks awful on me. It's not really a color I use a lot in my eyeshadow, like occasionally, sometimes, but I'm going to, I have pulled one, two, three, four, five. I've pulled six different shadows or eyeshadow palettes that have pink colors in them. And we are going to, sorry, I don't know why my mirror is over here. We are going to create a yellow eye look and we're gonna see if I can do it and if it can look somewhat normal. So. Let's begin this journey. I'm gonna go ahead and speed through my makeup and we'll be ready to start. So I haven't done my eyebrows, my highlighter, or my lips just because I kind of want to see what I create because I have no idea what's going to happen here um, before I do that because that will depend on what I do. So the six palettes that I have here are the Huda Beauty Neon Paint or Neon Orange which has this yellow right there and also this yellow. That's kind of green so I don't know. I also have the Pac-Man from Wet n Wild, which has that big center yellow. I have the Natasha Denona, Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, which has several yellows. It has like a darker yellow and a more, not like as bright, they're more muted yellows, which could be interesting. I have Subculture, which has edge, Really edge is the only yellow, but it was different than any of the other yellows, so I took it. I have Riviera, which has Inheritance and Cabana in it. And then I have Jawbreaker, which has Wow, which is this really bright yellow. And then also has Lemon Drop, which is the glitter yellow. So, so let's just start. Let's just get this rolling. Okay, I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with MAC Prep and Prime. 
Nope, not Mac Prep and Prime. That's a silly word, Jessica. It's not Mac Prep and Prime. It's Mac Panelly Pot, which is something completely different. Apparently left in my own devices, I'm just gonna say, there's nobody at my house right now. So I'm just gonna say whatever I want, whether it's true or not, apparently. All right. So I'm just gonna use, um, I've started using, you can use your finger with this, you can use a concealer brush. I've started using, um, it's a Morphe M407 brush, which I think is actually a highlighter brush. But I like it because it gets an even, I don't have to put as much on and it gets it really evenly distributed. So I don't feel like I'm putting too much on and I don't feel like my eyes, like maybe one eye has too much on it and the other one doesn't, you know. It just, does it just right? I'm almost out. I'm gonna have to restock. I think I have one. I think I thought I was almost out and then I was like, oh gosh, I still have a lot. I do that sometimes. Like I get scared that like my product's gonna go away. So I go ahead and get more, just, just in case. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna go into Riviera, into Sales, which is this white. It's the only color that I will be using other than yellow on my eyes. So I'm just gonna use a big shadow, big fluffy shadow brush and put Sales down, which is this really pretty white. I just think that, I mean, I could do a more natural color, obviously, but one, I think a little bit lighter kind of elevates your eye. Like it makes your eyes, if you're trying to make your eyes stand out, make like make your eyes stand out. So that's all I have to say about that. That's all I have to say about that. Do do. Now this could turn out horrifically wrong. This could be like a nightmare. And depending on that, you might already know that. Depending on my title of my video. Um, like I said, yellow and I are not friends. Like I wore a yellow sweater to picture day in fourth grade and it was like, that mistake has haunted me my entire adult life. So I like, remember when you wear that sweater? No, I do remember, but leave me alone. Okay. So I'm going to go in first with citrine from the Natasha Denona palette, which is that kind of mellower, mellower, yellower. <laughs> amuse myself. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with a pretty big um, precision angle shader brush from Moda. And I'm just going to lay that down pretty high. That is very yellow. I have to go darker on my transition. I can't. It's, that's way too light. But I figured it was somewhere to start. It's a starting point. I don't know if I've ever put yellow in my crease. I don't think I ever have. I've only used yellow like on the inner part of my eyelid just to kind of accent. I think yellow has always just been an accent color for me. Not today, Jessica. All right. So I got a good base of that down. I'll probably go back in and reiterate that at a later point. Um, now I'm going to use a pointier brush and go into, hmm, I'm going to go into Edge in the Subculture palette, this one right there, which is more of like a mustard yellow, and I'm going to use a thinner brush. I'm actually going to use one of the brushes I got at Ipsy. Go into Edge. Maybe I should have done a new wave. I don't know. Ew, okay. And I'm just going to darken up my transition with this. See, how do you darken up yellow without using another color? I do, I feel like this is going to be the one that plagues me. Like, I feel like the other colors I'm going to be fine using, but this is going to be the one eye look that I'm going to be like, oh, I can't get it right. Because it's yellow. But we're going to do it anyway. So all that did was kind of deepen it up. I didn't really deepen it up that much. I'm gonna have to definitely go back and darken it a little bit more. All right, doo, doo, doo. I don't know if I have a darker yellow though. I think that might've been my, my darkest yellow. Uh oh, what do I do? That was the darkest yellow. All right, Ugh. hold on. I'm gonna try to open all my palettes so I can see the colors from where I'm 
sitting. All right, I'm actually gonna use carnelian, which is like a really gold yellow, and put right in my crease and see if that jar darkens it, darkens, darkens it up enough. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yes. There she is. I just needed that little bit of darkness. It's sad because like I usually I've been doing my eyes darker and this will be like probably the lightest color I put on most most of my eye looks but right now it's the darkest. It's a really pretty yellow. This is in the Natasha Denona palette. It's called Carnelian and it's like a really rich gold yellow color like a harvest yellow if that makes sense. So now that I've laid that down pretty well, ooh, I already, I already am not liking this. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> I'm calming down because that's very bright. That's very yellow. That's very yellow. I'm gonna go in with Wow, which is the bright yellow in the Jeffree Star palette. I'm gonna go in with a flatter blending brush. This is a Japanese brush I picked up. I get like Target. I'm gonna go into Wow, which is like bright yellow. And I'm just gonna kind of go right here. And all I'm doing is just kind of blending my crease a little bit with it. So it brightens up the whole look. And it is yellow. And I'm kind of like, kind of doing a windshield wiper, but more of just kind of I don't know making it a little bit brighter because it is yellow after all all right I look like a fried egg like an inverted fried egg guy I don't know if that's what you want your eyeshadow to look like but we are going to make it work gosh darn it it is gonna work I don't like failing, so I don't try to start things that I don't think I can finish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's my transition, my top of my eye. So now I'm going to do the actual eyeball. Um, I think what I'm gonna do with that I don't know guys I think I'm gonna use yeah I'm gonna use the really sparkly yellow in no I'm not no I'm not I'm gonna use the yellow that's in the Huda palette just as like a layover like all over kind of color I'm using my MAC 242 brush on that so I'm just gonna put this yellow which is just kind of like a pretty bright yellow I'm gonna do this all over my eye I got ah I just got yellow everywhere guys. Ugh. Huda. How dare you betray me? Alright, so I just tap that on this eye. So now I want to go a little darker on the outside edge because this kind of is, well, it's looking very monochromatic. That is the truth. I'm going to go back in with edge. Yes, edge. Um, I'm going to use the same brush and just go on the corner of my eye just to kind of see if I can build up a little dimension. It's not going to be much, but it's a little bit. It's a little bit. So what are you guys thinking so far? What colors are you most excited for me to see? Write down below. Um, what colors do you think are gonna be the most exciting or the most interesting to see? Cause I'm gonna try to do all of them that are available, which are all of them. 
So, and now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna wet the same brush and I'm gonna go into Lemon Drop, which is a really bright yellow in the Jawbreaker palette. So I'm just wetting my brush with a little MAC Fix Plus. I'm gonna go into Lemon Drop, which is a beautiful color. I'm gonna go on in the inside corner of my eye. And it is bright and shiny. And that just kind of lifts it all. Whenever you wet your brush to put a product on, make sure that you're dabbing and not swiping. Because if you swipe, you're going to lose product that you already put down. I say that because that's what I just did. So, Joke's on me. It's very yellow. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. This is probably not going to go down as one of my favorite eye looks ever. But I figured if I was going to do colors, I was going to start with the one that I was worried about the most. Because yellow and I, like I said, are not friends. Okay, so now, lastly, I'm going to go in with Inheritance in the Riviera palette, which is gold. And I'm going to use that same wet MAC 242 brush. I'm gonna go right in the center of my eye and just press. Yes. There we go. Okay, okay. Now that came up with some color. That one did not come to play. I don't want to go back with the lemon drop and see if it was lighter or darker than that. It's kind of darker, but I think I like it in the very corner. And then with my wet brush still, I'm going to go back into Edge. So the only one I didn't use is the Pac-Man one, but... So Edge is from Subculture. I'm just going to put that, reinforce that dark right there. All right, well, I'm gonna put a little liner on and then do some eyeshadow under my eyes and do my brows and my highlighter and my lipstick and then I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. I have put on the Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup, which I love. I used my um, Universal Brow Pencil from Billion Dollar Brows. <clears throat> For my brows, I used uh, just a NYX liner in brown and then put some shadow under. I also use the Huda Beauty 3D highlighter in Golden Sands for my highlight. Oh, it's in my eye. Ah. And then for my lips, I just use that Seraphine Botanicals um, Berry and Juice and Pink Berry just because my eyes are a lot, so I didn't feel like I needed much more. Um, th final thoughts on this look. It's not horrible. Like, it's not my favorite look I've ever done. I think it turned out better than I thought it was going to turn out, but I still don't, like, this isn't something I'd do again. Because I think, and I don't think I'm going to have this problem with very many of the colors. I might have a problem with some of them, but with yellow, there's not much dimensional difference in the shades that they give you, you know, in your palettes. Um, at least that I have. I mean, I'm sure there are other yellows, but um, I, I didn't have any of those. I just had, like, some neons and then some, like, mid-tones. So, I feel like... I don't even know how, if it was a darker yellow, it would be brown. So I just feel like that there, there's not enough dimension to really lay, make the eye look stand out. But I did it. It's a monochromatic look. It's all yellow. Love it. Hate it. Let me know down below. All right. So you guys, everybody, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you like me, please consider subscribing. I am still having my big giveaway. Um, I've given away the second prize now, but there, there's still three up for grabs. So you can check that video out down below. And as always, a deep breath in, deep breath out, and be still.